here we have uh, the basic uh, setup. Um, a couple things I want to highlight is that I believe the one of the biggest factors is retaining all the heat that is given and then from there being allowed to uh, radiate heat in itself um, even when the heat is not being applied um, for whatever prolonged amount of time it continues to heat up the um, area here. So um, another highlight is I noticed that they have um, different height settings which I believe it will be an important factor and they have multiple layers which I think is important to allow for cooling down area from what could possibly be going on inside here. Um, the guy said uh, he believed um, with the candle he was still getting 200 degrees Fahrenheit out here. He didn't know what was in there. Um, whoever can post a test of their homemade one or if they want to order one. Um, will I build one? Who knows? Um, probably, but how soon? I don't know. So anyway, um, here's my thought I, I put up in the in the forum was having a disc inside of a tube. Um, this one, as you can see, is the catalytic converter. Um, so it's already in the tube. Uh, I put this line here is because um, from what I've noticed, uh, people are saying that you won't get the same reaction on the other side. So maybe just cutting this in half, and um, or yeah, cutting it in half, and then um, having a, a smaller um, heating element to deal with. Uh, you can have a smaller pot. Anyway, I use a a terracotta pot or I believe you could probably get away with using like a two gallon steel drum or um, a one gallon steel drum um, if, if, if it fits over this this piece um, so uh, and like I was saying in the first page I believe this is the important part is one of the important parts is the steel um, being heated up so uh, what I put in here is just like uh, steel bolts or whatever scrap iron you have uh, just to fill up that area. Um, I believe also you could probably get away with using like um, pieces of bricks for filler or pieces of concrete as fillers mixed with steel, um, you know, steel bolts or cut up rebar, whatever you want to put, or copper tubing. A lot of people are requesting a copper tubing set up. Um, so you have your coil and it can heat the water. But just for quick test, uh, this is one of the setups. Uh, you have your steel bolts up here. Um, and then here's your through hole to help vent some of the heat. And again, uh, some bolts for spacers. Um, these bolts could be laid around the circle of the pot. Um, so maybe four, six, eight, whatever the case may be. Uh, just to start radiating more heat and store some of that heat for when the unit's off. Um, I think about midway, it's pretty important to have back filled with steel. Uh, if you feel you could go higher, feel free, of course. Or you could back fill with concrete or just stones in general. Uh, let me speed this up. Um, again, here's the for the people who already have the disc out of the unit um, and then they just uh, lay it inside of the pot uh, you have the hole, the drain hole on the pot um, that you can use here you have your your steel bolts um, multiple ones, maybe like five doing a circle to hold this propped up um, and then you feed your HHO in and this would be steel balls uh, steel spheres, um, like bearings, or anything steel really, nuts, bolts, um, and then of course it would exit out here and heat this area. Um, these are um, a bolt with a nut um, sitting on the middle, kind of like straddling to help hold this up space-wise. Um, let's see, move on. 
Let's see here. Um, pretty basic setup. Oh, these are these are bricks, brick spacers to help hold this up. You know, all the support is going up. Um, and then another concept idea. Thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> is um, just the straight catalytic converter, getting a quick setup done. Um, you know, you can use a pot or you can use a a can. Um, whatever will allow the catalytic converter, the HCAT, to to stand here stable. So um, even if it's uh, bolts going through the bottom here and sticking up um, a couple deep or so have you so that it could rest in here so that would be bolts bolts and then bolt in here and then so this will go all around and then it will have something to sit in rest in maybe you could put a, a tie strap around here or whatever you figure it out smart guys here I put um, extra bolts just for extra heat um, it wasn't going to be touching this. This is the weight for the outside shell is resting on here. The steel bolts. All right. Sorry it took so long. I don't know. Um, good luck, man.